What's up guys, Zach with SORCOM here. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to register your SORCOM Air SIM in our user console so you can get your IoT devices connected in just a few short minutes. Let's get started. To create your free account, navigate to console.sorcom.io. You can sign in if you already have one, or if you're brand new, click sign up. We offer two coverage types, global and Japan. Basically, unless you've purchased a Japan SIM from us, you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and select global. Fill in the required information, click create account, and within a few seconds, a verification link will be sent to the email address you used to sign up. Now once you've verified your account, you're ready to log in. If this is the first time you've logged in, you'll notice at the top this banner that says no payment method has been registered. Basically that's saying you need to set up a credit card in the payment settings. Click on New Payment Method, and the credit card that you apply here will be the card that all SIM usage charges and future SIM orders will be applied to. Now once you have your payment method set up, you're ready to register your first SIM. There are two registration methods depending on how you've ordered your SIM from us. You can order SIMs from Amazon.com or directly from the user console. SIM orders can be placed from the console by going to Menu, Orders, New Order. We offer several quantity options. You can even order one of our recommended USB modem dongles right from this menu. If you've purchased your SIM from the user console, each SIM will be pre-registered to your account. Once received, simply refer back to the order page and click register next to your order. This method is particularly helpful when registering a high volume of SIMs. If you've purchased from Amazon or received a promotional SIM from us, you'll need to register those manually. Back on the SIM management page, click register SIM. On the back of your SIM, you'll see two numbers, the ICC ID and the PUK. Go ahead and type in those numbers. Be sure you're not entering the spaces in the ICC ID. You have the option to give the SIM a friendly name and add it to an existing group, handy for management purposes, which we'll explore further in a future video. For now, all that's required to register are the ICC ID and the PUK numbers. Click register. Note the status column indicates the SIM in a ready state and the session column reads offline. This means your SIM is now ready for activation, but not yet connected to the SORCOM APN. Activation is typically accomplished by simply installing your SIM in your device and configuring the APN settings. Refer to the manufacturer documentation of your device for instructions on configuring the APN. Please take note of the SORCOM APN settings displayed now. Once your SIM is connected to our APN, the SIM status will change to active and the session status will change to online. Congratulations, your device is now connected. For more information, please check out our developer site at developers.sorcom.io. So that's it guys, pretty easy stuff. Now that your SIMs are registered, check out my next video for a walkthrough of the Sorcom user console. Thanks.